Hi everyone. Continuing with our PSA settings, on this video, we're setting up resource roles, resource skills, proficiency models, as well as resources. So let's jump in the system. And for these settings, we're using the unified interface. So let's click on our navigation on the left. and then scroll down to resource roles. So roles. So we have roles, skills, proficiency models, and then resources right here under the resources setting. So let's click on resource roles. Now as we've been, as PSA has been installed on this instance, we have two out of the box roles ready. So we have the role of project manager and team member. So let's open up the project manager role first, see that we have everything set up. We have a target utilization of 75 and a billing type of chargeable. We can actually leave these as they are for the, for the sake of example, we can use a target utilization of, of 75 and the building type we do wanna keep as chargeable. So we'll come back to resource roles and click on new on the ribbon and create a new role. So let's call this, let's give it a name of consultant. Target utilization is 75 and billing type is chargeable. Let's save and close and let's create a new role called pre-sales. We'll give it a utiliza utilization of 75 as well, but we'll leave the billing type as non-chargeable. And then we'll create a, a third role called developer. And for that, we'll leave the billing type as chargeable. All right, so we have some resource roles now set in PSA. And the next thing we're setting up are skills. So here on the left, scroll down a bit, come over to resource skills, click on new, on the ribbon, and let's give this a skill. We'll leave the characteristic as a skill. We can choose between certification and skill. And if we do want uh, an approval, for this particular skill, we can set require approval as yes. This is pretty much depends on, you know, how you define your, your how do you find skills in your organization and how freely people can update their own skills. You know, if you have a centralized repository for skills that, that someone is basically maintaining or, or, or if skills are more flexible in your organization. So you might want to consider if an approval is required or not. So just for the sake of this example, we'll leave require approval as a no. We'll click save and close. And we'll create a new skill called, let's call this MCSC for Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert. Let's choose the characteristic as a certification and we'll leave the required approval as no for this as well. All right, so we have a couple of skills set up. Next, we'll look at the proficiency models. So here on the navigation under resources, we have proficiency models. And we actually have a default rating model set 
So we can open that up, see what it contains. We have a rating model with the minimum rating value of one and a maximum rating value of three. Now the rating values are familiar, good, and proficient. Uh, for the sake of this, this example, I think these are actually pretty good. So we don't have to set up a new rating model. We can actually just, you know, even leave the name at default rating model for now. Uh, you can change these if you want to. Again, this is something that really depends on how, you know, how you want to build that rating model and, and, and what kind of strategy you have for that. But for the sake of example, we can leave these as is. So we can actually just close out of this record and leave it as, as it is. All right, so the next and final setting on this video will be resources. Now these are, resources are those people, those users or uh, internal or, or external users, accounts and contacts that you will book on your projects. So for this, we'll use the unified interface. We'll, we'll click on our navigation, scroll down to resources. And for, let's see the statistics and the settings for me, the time zone we do want to change. Let's click on project service for resource skills. We have a target utilization here that we could change to 75. We could actually add a characteristic here. I think I wanna be proficient at this. All right. So then let's come back to the other settings. So we have our resource roles here. So I'm doing a lot of demos on this environment. So naturally I do want to have a pretty broad role spectrum, so to say. So I wanna add a couple of roles for myself. I'm going to be a project manager. Let's set this by default. It's a good idea to set a default role for a resource. Uh, basically, you know, if you look at utilization calculations, for example, a default role is required. So it, it is a good idea to set up a default role for each user. So let's add another role. And click on save and close. So we have a couple of roles set up. Now field service, this we really don't need to cover on this video. For scheduling, we do want to be displayed on this resource to be displayed on the schedule board. And we do want to enable for availability search. Start location and end location, they can be location agnostic for now. And under related records, we really don't have anything that we need to access at this given point. So let's come back to resources and then add a new resource. So we can choose from generic, contact, user, equipment, account, crew, facility, or pool. We'll use user for now. We'll add John Doe as a resource. We'll save the record and then we'll change the time zone. Then we'll come over to project service. 
we'll set a target utilization to 75. We'll skip the resource skills for John Doe, but we do want to add John Doe a resource role. So we'll make him a developer, which is his default role. We'll click on back. And under scheduling, we have everything pretty much set up. Now, for the organizational unit, we might want to change John to the United States so that, so that if we have projects that are basically run by an org unit in the US, we can use John Doe as a bookable resource from the United States organizational unit. So I was in, in the default unit and we'll make John Doe a part of the US org unit. So we have more options around resourcing when we're staffing people on projects. All right, so that was covered resource roles, skills, proficiency models, and then setting up resources in the system. Stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching.